Welcome to the Retro Coder. I'm Nate Boffman. A couple days ago, I was going through a box and I found this little beaut. It's a Raspberry Pi 3B, and it wasn't in a case or anything like that, but I did notice it did have an operating system on it. And I'm curious, a couple years ago when I was messing around with it and tinkering with it, uh, what exactly was I going to use this for? So I call this my Mystery Pi. I did find out a couple days ago, so let's go ahead and check out this crappy reenactment on exactly what this does. Oh wow, is that what I think it is? A Commodore 64 Mini? Oh wow, that's awesome. I can't believe I totally forgot about that. It's fantastic that we found a Raspberry Pi Commodore 64 Mini. Pretty retro to me, that's pretty cool. So I think this would be great if I backtrack. So honestly, I don't know what I did to get that on there. I believe I actually download the operating system as is that has the Commodore 64 on it. So I don't think I installed it on there or through, you know, putting a regular Linux operating system on there and then installed um, Vice or something on there. Actually, this was done completely as is. I'm not sure I'm going to do some research and then this would be great for a new episode and I'll call it a, you know, how to build a Commodore 64 Mini. That would be great for a new episode. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and until next time, thanks for watching. Sit, Phoebe, sit. Good cat.